and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I'm very excited because the brand new stamping up trimmer has arrived. Um, this is, as a demonstrator, we get to um, look at it, see it, try it out um, before it's going to be available to customers. So, um, I thought that I would do a review so I can give you my honest opinion of this trimmer compared to the um, the trimmer that we've had for um, a couple of years. Now, this is the, um, the stamping up trimmer that we're all used to. And um, the new one is, size-wise, is exactly, if I could sort of take it up and show you, it is virtually the same um, the same size. So I've put one on top of the other and you can see it is exactly the same size. So let's have a look at it from, um, I'm going to take it this way so you can have a look at it um, a little bit easier. Right, it needs to go this way up. So we'll start right at the top. There is a little handle here so you can, um, you can hang it in your craft room if you want to. Um, it has measurements across the top in centimetres and in inches. And there is an arm that comes out. Now, this arm, I think probably just, yes, it just slides out. So it's going to be too wide to fit in the camera, but it goes to 17 inches or 43, 43 and a half centimetres. Um, on there so 17 inches which is a great huge amount better than um, the old one let's put this back and um, go to the old one we can see that the old one comes out and measures I'm going to have to put this down on here because it's difficult to get it all on the old one come came out to 14 um, fifth 14 and a half 14 and three quarter inches um, so 14 really um, and it came to 36 centimetres. So it actually gives you a wider space on there. So let's bring this back out again. So you can see on here, um, the arm literally just pulls out and has got it on, on a hinge piece here, takes it to the top and then, as I say, comes right out to 17 inches comfortably, um, which I think is fantastic. That gives you an extra cup of gets you an extra nearly three inches on there which is good so um and that as i say just slides in does it just slide yes just slides in and clicks there's a little click that clicks it in okay so our old one we used to have a piece here that held down and we could flip this up and then you had the um um, the track that was removable and you had to replace and then hinge it. So let's have a look at the new one and see what happens on here. Okay, there's, there's um, you lit, oh, you, you literally flip it up and it goes, it secures in on, there's um, some little tracks here. So when you close it, it will stay solid and it's not going to open up, which is good. Um, the track, oh, now the track is a lot smaller and doesn't come out. So that's interesting. So let's look at the, uh, um, the comparison of the two of them together. So this was the, um, the old one, which obviously we had the track that, uh, um, that came out that, um, was quite wide on there. You had to uh, clean it out quite a bit. So this one, you can see that the track is... I'm hoping this is coming out all right in the camera. Let me just have a little stand up and look to make sure that you can see this. Um, yeah, you can see if I bring it up, hopefully it will focus. You can see on there that the track is, that's my finger, the track is a lot um, narrower, which seems quite good. Okay, so, and again, it just clips in quite sort of, quite firmly. Um, and holds it in without having to uh, um, have a clip on it. So um, let's have a look at the um, the blades. I'm going to put the old one out of the way for now because I think it's easier to see it. 
it's very difficult on camera because I don't want to have it so far away you can't see what I'm doing. So um, the um, the arm that comes out, we have got it this way. We have got um, inches along there. So you can measure it across in inches and um, the blades slide up the track. And then along the top, as I say, you've got your inches and then you've got your centimetres on there. And um, the blades, we have a scoring blade as we had before. And we've got, um, sorry, a cutting blade and we've got a scoring blade. So I'm going to try and open this up so we can have a look at it from... If I bring that up a little bit, you can see um, the blade on there looks very similar to the old one, the same sort of pointy part on it. Um, the scoring blade is actually a little, and I don't know whether you can see it clearly enough, but can you see it's actually a little wheel on there rather than the old one was a little, um, a little sort of knobble. Let's remind ourselves of what the old one was like. So... The, um, this one is the, um, the old one. That is the scoring um, piece. And if I can just get it in the light, um, you can see on there, it's a, it's a little, it's a little um, ball on there. So there we are, right. You can see on there, it's a ball. So it wasn't as good for scoring sort of deeply on there. Um, this new one is, let's take this up this way, I'm trying to sort of do it so you can see it as clearly. This one you can see is, it's a little wheel. I'm trying to get that on the, the angle, I think you can probably see that, it's a wheel. So that looks as if it's going to score um, better than the old one. Um, the size of the blades, let's put the blades next to each other so we can do a comparison. Let's slide that to there, that to there. Okay, so these are the two, um, the scorer and the, um, the cutting blade. So you can see they're slightly different. You have a, um, a piece to hold onto at the top here. So I think that this will probably, it's sliding beautifully. The old one, you had to sort of um, hold it on to, on this bit here um, on those little pieces this one you hold it in the center so that looks as if that might work a little better than the old one so uh, let's put this down on here um, if we turn it over the old one had the um, a nice sort of pocket at the back so you could keep spare blades and various things like that in um, let's have a look at the back of this one um, no, the back of this one is just fairly sort of plain and um, no, there's nothing to hold anything on the back. You do have your feet, the same as the others. So there's little rubberized feet on here, so it's not going to slide on your work surface. Um, and there's those at the top and at the bottom there. So as I say, you've got good, uh, um, good grip on your surface. Um, it is, if I stand them up... Okay, that's that's the old one. That's the new one. So width-wise, it is narrower. Um, it feels lighter. This one feels heavier. But I think that that's because it had the uh, um, the pocket thing on the back. So um, so this certainly feels a lot lighter. Let me move the old one out of the way because I don't think we need to do any more comparison on it. Um, and let's have a I need to put this so that it's out of the way carefully. OK, so um, we've got the turn it round this way so you can see it. We've got the stamping up logo at the bottom and it's in our um, our stamping up colours that we're used to. So you can see on there that um, it looks like a stamping up trimmer, which is nice. And the logo is at the bottom on the left hand corner. OK, so. Um, Let's have a go and see what this is like for cutting. I'm going to have to do it half off, but I've got a piece of cardstock here. So let me just, um, I'm going to sit down so I can see what I'm doing. So um, clip it up, clips up very easily, um, which is nice. I'm going to put my paper in here and I'm going to score it at, what do I normally score at? Five and um, five and a quarter. 
so let's do oh I'd do it that way wouldn't I okay let's see if I can do this on here so five and let's do five and a quarter is that going to come to five and a half um, that's five and a half let's have it at five and a half okay so this is the first time that I've actually scored it oh now that comes right the way off the top which is quite good I can take this right down to the bottom so once I've closed it I don't know whether you can see once I've closed it the actual um, blade can come right off before we bring it down so let's um oh okay that's 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 nice and that's cut that um <clears throat> cut it very very nicely um obviously it's the first cut it's a brand new blade so i would expect it to so let's rot rotate this round and i would then cut it at three and three quarters so the measurements are as precise as the other ones let's bring it up to the top again slide it down and just um, it's quite nice to hold on to so it actually uh, um cuts quite well so uh, so that's my um sort of standard mat on there let's do this one as well um so this would come at three and three quarters so yes you can see it i'm going to do it from the bottom up um it's quite it's quite smooth it is quite smooth i must admit that that's quite nice so we've now got the other piece now let's have a look at this piece on here and see if i was going to be doing a tiny little piece to um, just sort of score down the center so just going to put this down on here and see what the score is like. I'm just going to do it a couple of times. I used to have two on the other one. Um, open it up. Oh, yes, right. Okay, so the scoring actually scores. You can see on there, I hope you can see this. Um, try and get it at an angle. Um, the scoring on that scores a lot deeper. So um, if I was to go to score, to fold this on here. Um, yes, that, that scores deeper than the old scoreboard, um, so, um, or the old, um, trimmer. So I think that that, that's quite nice. Um, let's have a look and see, um, I'm going to do, and I'm, and I'm doing all sorts of things to just try it. So this is, this is double thickness now cardstock, and I've folded it in half. Let's see if we can cut this, uh, we're just going to cut it sort of straight in half on here. So it, you can hear... It clips down quite nicely to hold the paper so um, it holds it relatively well let's just see if I can cut that in half okay so that's cut that in half and you can see that's a very nice clean cut on there let's open it up yeah that that that's a pretty good cut pretty good cut on there so I'm just going to just go backwards and forwards a few times to just sort of see what it's like I'm doing this way I'm doing this quite quickly I didn't line that up on there um, doing it quite quickly um, and do we get little pieces in the track as much let me have a look on here the old one you used to have quite a bit in the track now this track is this track is a lot um, is not as deep which I think will work better for having to clean it out. If I look at the uh, um, the old one, in fact, I'll take the old track up. You can see with the old track, it was, let's put this in on here. Um, the old track came, so I'm going to try and take that in there. The old track came that sort of deep on there. So let's, um, I'm just going to put a little, thumbnail on there the new track trying to trying to just put my finger in here to see the new track is I think isn't quite as deep it's difficult to tell but I certainly don't think you'll get as many things stuck um, you know you used to get an awful lot of pieces stuck in the groove um, little bits of fluff and stuff like that you don't seem to get as much of that in there um I think it's really good I'm 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 pretty impressed with it and I think as I say I really like the fact that you can go right the way out on here to uh, um to 17 inches 
um, because that's, as I say, that's a lot longer than the uh, um, the other arm on the old one. Um, I don't know whether I'll be out doing things that are 17 inches longer or not. Um, who knows? Um, and I have to remember that this slides back in that way. So you have to just, it clips in quite nicely. Um, but first impressions, um, I think it looks a really good trimmer. Um, I like, I like the... Uh, um, the scoring uh, and, and the blade on there. I like the fact that you can hold on to this piece on the top, which I think is quite nice compared to the old ones. Um, you will be able to buy, and I've got a package of these. So you will be able to buy um, replacement blades, and the replacement blades will be coming in a pack of four. So those are the size of the replacement blades. Let me show you, um, I've got a pack of the old blades still. So let me just do a quick, a quick comparison. Okay, so the old blades looked like, let's take these out because it's always the blades that are the most important thing on here. So that's what an old blade looked like. Let's put that there just next to it. That's the new blade. Okay, so that they are, they are quite different. Um, and I think that they will probably work. And I'm only saying probably because I haven't had enough time to, uh, um, to sort of work this out on here. Uh, I'm not going to take those out because they're all in um, a little thing. Um, but if I hold this up nearer, okay, that's the old blade. That's the new blade. So the old blade used to obviously stick over the side. So you'd have that much to work with. The new blade is like this, that you hold on to this part. Um, and I think that that works better. It seems to be, I'm literally just putting my finger on here. Um, it seems to be um, a lot more stable. Um, than this one and I think that it'll probably work a lot better so um I'm going to leave it like that for now because I am going to go and have a play I just literally I'd opened it wanted to come on because I know that a lot of you are quite excited about uh, um about the new trimmer coming out um it's going to be 23 pounds and it's going to be available, um, it's only available for demonstrators at the moment. So the only way you could get hold of one of this is if you became a demonstrator, which you're very welcome to do. And um, there'll be a link across to my blog so you can find all the details out about that. Um, but for customers, um, it will be coming sometime. Um, I can't give you an exact date at the moment because literally it is only just just launched and as demonstrators we get a chance to have uh, a look at it to have a play with it to see what we think first so um before um our customers can buy it so um the new stamping up trimmer going to be available um watch this space and um my first thoughts i'm quite impressed with it i think it is going to be uh, very good i like the fact that it is very lightweight I like the fact that, uh, um, as I say, it seems to hold on to the, the work surface very well. And I like the fact that you've got a full 17 inches to work with on here, which, you know, if you're using large things and you're putting two pieces together and making big boxes and things, that will work quite well. So impressed with it so far. Thank you so much for watching me. Do look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.